Artificial intelligence and machine learning is becoming increasingly important to national security and cultural representation. Nations are investing heavily into computing and algorithmic infrastructure to dominate an increasingly digitized future. Natural language processing or NLP is the subfield of machine learning and artificial intelligence concerned with teaching computers to read, understand, and act on human language. Due to the vast increase in the availability of digitized text data, computers are increasingly needed to keep track of signals online, on social media, on the Internet of Things, and or in conversations with customers, partners, and other stakeholders. The amount of data available is significantly beyond what human analysts can reasonably digest manually. This touches every conceivable application area, from medical diagnosis and financial system interfaces to translation systems and cybersecurity. Specifically, NLP has made dramatic strides in allowing engineers to reuse NLP knowledge acquired at major laboratories and institutions such as Google, Facebook, Microsoft and the big universities and adapting it to the engineer's problem at hand quickly on a laptop or even a smartphone. This is loosely called transfer learning by the machine learning community. The size and complexity of language models in popular languages such as English has been experiencing dramatic growth recently as can be seen in this figure. Unfortunately, Ghanaian languages are nowhere to be found on this map. To date, we do not even have a reliable machine translation system like a Google Translate for any Ghanaian language. Ghana NLP is an open source movement of like-minded volunteers who believe that this is simply unacceptable and who have dedicated their time and skills to solving this problem. A major component of enabling understanding by machines is converting text into a meaningful set of numbers that the computer can then manipulate to extract meaning and context. Today, we are releasing the first such computational map of a Ghanaian language tree built by the Ghana NLP team. You can explore the dynamic version of it at this link and in the figure we've presented. All of the code presented is part of the open API we are building, CASA, to provide easy access to a broad range of NLP tools for Ghanaian languages and practitioners. So over here we can see the visualization of word embeddings trained on some tree texts. Now, tree is one of the many vernacular languages spoken in Ghana. We have chosen tree as a start mainly due to the easy availability of text. The plan is to extend same to other languages. Here we are, we are visualizing the embeddings using an open source tool from TensorFlow, which is a machine learning package, which is available in the, the link provided. And good thing about this tool is it allows you to zoom into specific words and trace their relationships. We can look up uh, words that's part of the training text. So let's say doctor, which is doctor in, in English. And here we see the 100 most similar words to, to doctor, shown in the word space. And on uh, the right tab, you have the relative distances from the, the search word measured with the cosine similarity. So the quality of the embeddings we, we see here, it's, it's, it's evident in how words like Oduyefo, which translates to someone who makes drugs, or Yarefo, or Yarefo, a sick person, are, are shown to be a lot closer to the word doctor, which makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Because you think about a sick person or someone who makes drugs, etc., when you, you think of doctor. And the good thing about this visualization is uh, you can move it around in several axes to, to, to visualize the relationships between the, the words there several different relationships see it better and here we, we continue to see words like gachumiaria which is mental illness uh, which is a researcher which are all words that are very similar or come to mind when you think of doctor now let's look up at another word let's say mommy not for any special reason it's just because that's what comes to mind you know
So again, we get words, the hundred most similar words or neighbors of the word mommy or mother and their representation in the, in the word space as uh, generated by the embedding. Uh, so again, you can see several uh, similar words to, to, to mommy, you know, and also on the side, we see uh, the, the similar words and their relative cosine distances from mommy or mother. And we see words like Nyabia, Nyaberima, Kunu, husband, Babia, which is daughter, uh, Nanabia, grandmother, and several other related words which make a lot of sense. Oh, yeah, and there's Mawofo, which is parents, very similar word to mother. And again, uh, you can move it around, zoom in, spin it around uh, the different axis just to see the, the relationships. And uh, this is just to say that the word embeddings uh, we have generated for the tree texts. Uh, has been able to capture quite well the relationships between the different words as is evident in the visualization. At Ghana NLP, we are building an ecosystem of one, open source datasets, two, open source computational methods, and most importantly, three, an army of NLP researchers, scientists, and practitioners ready to revolutionize and improve every aspect of Ghanaian life through an increasingly powerful and influential technology that we have been talking about. As recent events have shown, we must be prepared for tomorrow's challenges today. Artificial intelligence is one of the ways we will accomplish this. Ghanaian national security depends on the availability of these tools, which are directly correlated with the sophistication and efficiency of cybersecurity solutions that can be deployed to defend critical social, cultural, and cyber infrastructure for both internal and external threats. Please consider joining us by signing up on our website, partnering us, or sponsoring us.